Illustration, a lot of times people compare it to fine art, and the biggest difference is that illustration is always assignment work from advertising agencies, design studios, magazines, books, publishers, and things like that, as opposed to fine art where the artist generally creates images to sell to the public. Enhanced reality to me is taking a real image that if it's a cup on a table, it's a cup on a table, but perhaps something spectacular is happening to the cup, like a lightning bolt is hitting it, and trying to exaggerate all of the things in that image that would make it uh, the most appealing or exciting, adding color and things like that that might not exist naturally. Uh, since I do a lot of things with celebrities and likenesses, it's oftentimes enhancing them, flattering them in some way, or exaggerating features that are recognizable if someone's known for their, their big eyes or pretty eyes, you might put more emphasis on that. It's not quite caricature, it's, a, it's still very much like a realistic image of someone, but kind of enhancing them to the point where people recognize them a little more quickly. Star Wars, only Star Wars Bill, S-T-A-R-R -R, as in Kenneth Star. That was for Mad Magazine, and of course everything they do is a little bit off-color, so it was a spoof on the Monica Lewinsky scandal with Bill Clinton, and it was pretty much a, a duplication of the original poster. They do extensive meetings and hammer out all those fine details before I ever see it. Early on, that was probably one of the first magazines that I ever bought myself that I enjoyed reading. Partially because it was funny, and mostly because it had all this drawing from cover to cover in it. They did caricatures, and you would look at the drawings that these artists had done, and, and you could tell immediately who the people were. And I was really drawn in by that. I really thought, mm, I'd, I'd like to do that someday. I like doing assignment work. What people assign you helps inspire new ideas that you might not have otherwise. It makes you try new things and experiment with different kinds of visuals and imagery. And a lot of people say, how do you get work? You know, because you know you live in the middle of nowhere and you know, how does it come in? I advertise regularly on an annual basis and there's these color directories that go out to art directors that potentially will buy work. I have a display lay at and it's uh, along with maybe six or seven hundred other artists so the style is the thing that usually brings people to me if the time is right and, and everybody's happy then uh, we start discussing the details of the job once they've approved a sketch if it involves people I'll usually hire models I shoot photography of them and work from the photography in the case of celebrities I usually have to collect headshots of celebrities and pick out something that I think represents them well and match that body to the body that I'm shooting to the head that I have and kind of piece it all together like a puzzle and hopefully it you know it all weaves together naturally so it looks nice in the end. A lot of times when people look at my work they say you know how's that done is that oils or is it airbrush or what is it and it's all water-based medium so the watercolor kind of acts as my underpainting for the rest of the work and then the airbrush kind of finishes everything off and adds punch to the color i like the functionality of what i do it's been in very strange places on collectible cups and french fry boxes and puzzles, t-shirts, sneakers. Well, I'll see stuff that I've done 10, 15 years ago that'll turn up you know, on somebody's desk, you know, and, and you just go, hey, did you know I did that? <laughs> and they say, no, I know I didn't know that. So that kind of stuff is neat, you know, when you know it's sticking around for a while.